Welcome back to FootballNewsNow.com. I am senior writer Chuck Carroll. Joining me on the phone right now are a very special writer, a blogger of ours, and Seattle Seahawks defensive end, Jay Richardson. Jay, thanks for joining us, man. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? It's a big game this weekend for you. Absolutely huge, um, and I'm excited about it. I think we all are. Everybody in Seattle seems to be pretty excited about it. I mean, what are your what are your thoughts headed into this one? I mean, it's it's a winner take all scenario on a national stage. Does you know having the game flexed to the prime time slot? I mean, does that add jitters to it for you at all? You know what? I, and honestly, if you had told me at the beginning of the season that you know by this point in the year, going into the final game, you know we'd be playing basically without destiny in our own hands, with a chance to go and you know win a spot in the playoffs, and I would be a spot in the division leader if we win, I'd have taken it. I mean, that's what, that's what you want. When you're waiting for somebody else to lose or for something to go wrong, you know, wrong with another team, the, our destiny is in our hands, and I think, you know, it's up to us. So I think it's a pretty good situation to be in. And, you know, uh, you're going against arguably one of the greatest rookie quarterbacks of all time, you know, Sam Bradford <laughs> with the Rams. I mean, what are you guys planning to do to limit him this weekend, Jay? Is that the title we were giving him now? Well, he that's, a, <laughs> he's pretty good. <laughs> no, he, he, he is a uh, very good um, quarterback in general. I mean, rookie or not, he, he's just a good quarterback. From what I've seen on tape, you know, the kid makes fast reads. He's intelligent. He's tough. He's taking a lot of hits. He keeps on going. Um, and uh, he's accurate. So, you know, you got to mix it up with uh, with young quarterbacks especially. You have to mix it up. you got to show him a bunch of different looks. You know, you, you definitely want to blitz him. But you have to pick your spots, and um, I think that's you know what we're going to do, and we're going to try to do a good job of keeping pressure on him and making him uh, make some tough throws. And do you think that he's as good as advertised, or is is he a bit overrated, Jay? No, nah, from what I've seen on film, the kid is good as advertised. Um, you know, like I said before, he's smart, he's tough, good arm. You know, he can make all the NFL throws you ask a quarterback to make, and uh, he seems to be a leader out there for his guys. So he's definitely the real, you know, the real deal, and uh, it's going to be a challenge. Outstanding. Now then, um, you know, the Seahawks, you guys are slight underdogs headed into the game. Um, not that, you know, Vegas odd makers are necessarily experts, but do you think that they got it wrong in this scenario with you playing at home and the, the 12th man advantage? Um, I think any time you underestimate our, underestimate our fans, you know, you made a mistake because our fans are huge. The 12th man is going to be huge for us. Us playing, you know, in a home game. For all the marbles, so to speak, um, I think I like our chances. I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. At the same time, you got to look at the, the facts. The facts are, you know, we don't have a better record than they do. We have let some some games that we should have won slip between our fingers, and uh, and we haven't been playing great football as of late. So if we're the underdogs. We've earned it. So we got to go out there and prove why we're not the underdogs. And that leads me to my next question, actually. Um, you know, what are you guys doing to shake off the loss last weekend to Tampa Bay? I mean, that one was a, a especially brutal. Um, what are the odds of any of that kind of carrying over into this weekend? Um, honestly, when you have a game like that where you just, you know, you make every mistake you can possibly make throughout a football game and you go out there and underperform like we did, there's, there's nothing you can really do other than, you know, cut the film on, watch it one time, learn from it, throw it away and move forward, have a great week of practice, which we've done. Um, you know, everybody's, I think, is all with it. You know, we're all with the program. Everybody's wired in. It's been a great week of focus and study. And, I mean, you know, Charlie looks great. Um, I'm just ready to, you know, go out there and play at this point. You know, I'm kind of sick of meeting. I'm kind of sick of talking about it. I'm ready to play. And what has uh, Coach Carroll's message been to you guys this week? Is is he keeping it upbeat, or is it is it all business and, and hyper-focused, or...? Oh, he's excited. I mean, he's he's like a little kid. You know, he's he's bouncing off the walls, excited about this situation. You know, and like I said before, this is what you want. I mean, this is why you play pro football for a chance to play in a big game, prime time. You know, in front of everybody, and uh, and go and show what you're made of, and have a chance to go to the playoffs. So he's been very excited about it. He's been you know very focused on keeping us focused, and uh, and keeping us upbeat. You know, and not and not you know putting too much pressure on ourselves, and just going out there and playing.
We're speaking with Jay Richardson, defensive end for the Seattle Seahawks here on footballnewsnow.com. And Jay, you know, you you started the preseason with the Oakland Raiders. You were headed into your final year of the your contract there. Um things didn't work out. You injured your knee in the in the preseason, uh wound up getting an injury release. But Oakland goes on and they have, you know, one of their best seasons in recent history. Uh yet you guys are are still here in the playoff hunt. I mean, what's the trade off? Would you rather still be in Oakland having a, a relatively good season or have a shot at the playoffs here in Seattle? I would rather be right where I am right now, playing for a chance to play in the playoffs. I wouldn't have it any any other way. Um, you know, and I wish Oakland all the best. Those are all great guys that I still keep up with those guys. Um, you know, I got a lot of friends on the team and I'm happy to see how well they were playing. At the same time, I'm I'm not envious of their position that they'll be in, you know, knowing that they're not playing for anything. I'm really happy to have a chance to play for something. While we're on the topic of the Raiders, I mean, what are your thoughts of their season? I mean, did you expect them to, you know, had you been there? I mean, were you expecting them to come out and, and have a 7-9 a and nine or an 8-8 eight eight kind of season? Honestly, yeah. I was there all camp all summer. Um, I, I know what they got in that locker room. I, I know what kind of coaching staff they have there, and uh, I really wasn't surprised at all. I mean, that's that's what I expected out of those guys because, you know, it's a good group of guys, um, tons of athletes, there, tons of talent. And uh, it was about time that, you know, they put it all together and won some games. All right. And uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, uh, do you think Tom Cable is back next season as the Raiders head coach? I mean, I don't see anyone who's done a better job than him in the last, um, you know, handful of years, so I don't know why he wouldn't be. All right. Now, uh, you, when you when you signed with the Seattle Seahawks, uh, gosh, I guess it was in October, um, you know, you, you opted for a one-year deal with them. Um, have there been any discussions yet about coming aboard for the 2011 season, or are you still pretty hell-bent on, on playing the free agent game? Um, no, no discussions right now. I'm just focusing everything on this season, on this week, on this game. You know, the whole, the whole free agency thing will shake out when it does, and that usually takes care of itself. And, you know, you just wait for what your options are when that time comes. As of right now, though, you know, all I'm focused on is, and we're speaking with Jay Richardson from the Seattle Seahawks here on footballnewsnow.com. And, Jay, we alluded to it earlier. Uh, you know, you had a, a setback with your knee earlier in the uh, in the season, actually in the preseason with the Raiders. Uh, wound up undergoing uh, surgery. It set you back for a little bit. How's the knee holding up for you now? It's actually feeling really good. Um, you know, the first couple weeks I was out here, it was still a little sore. I had to do a good job of keeping it iced and elevated in between practices. But, um, these, you know, these last few weeks, it's really starting to get strong, and I'm starting to feel like myself again. Good deals. And uh, last question for you, Jay. How's your mom doing with the, the Campbell Soup campaigns? Uh, it's going great. Everything's um, going as planned, and uh, she's, you know, just kind of gearing up for her, her 2011 campaign herself to be the Campbell's spokeswoman for heart health. You know, I actually think your mom is following me on Twitter now. I was honored when I saw that. <laughs> oh, yeah. She 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 learned how to tweet now. I don't know who taught her. I know I didn't. And uh, all of a sudden, I looked on there, and now she's tweeting, and she's you know on Facebook, and she's uh, she's very well connected these days. <laughs> Good deals. All right. Well, Jay Richardson from the Seattle Seahawks. Best of luck to you this weekend going up against the St. Louis Rams. Winner take all for the NFC West title. Jay. Oh, yeah. Good luck to you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.